Who's ready to try my smoked Rotel cream cheese sausage balls? Let me show you how we do it. Mm -mm -mm. The first thing we want to do to get started on our smoked Rotel cream cheese sausage balls I've got one can of Rotel. Now, I opted to buy the fire roasted today. That's what I'm using. Juice and all goes in here, right? Now, I'm gonna take one block of softened Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, I'm gonna use two cups of Mexican blend cheese. I'm being lazy today and not threading my own. I'm gonna get this dumped in. Now, I've got two cups of Bisquick. Let's get that dumped in. Now, we got some garlic jalapeno rub. You know I gotta come back with a little bit of it. Put you about a tablespoon or so in there. Get that dumped in. And then we got one pound of mild sausage. Now, I prefer mild, but if you like yours even more spicier, please use the hot sausage. You can definitely tell a difference. Get rolled in there. And let me find some gloves and let's mix it all up. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take our sheet pan here and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of oil just to make sure I don't stick. Now, once we got that greased up, set it to the side and let's get started. So I'm gonna take a little scoop I've got here to kind of help me keep this portion out right. I'm just gonna take one scoop like this right here, plump it out in my hand and just set that ball down there. Now that we've got our sausage balls made, all the little dough balls scooped on this platter, which it yielded a whole lot, and I've still got a little bit left over that I'm gonna actually save and use for a later date. I'm gonna freeze them. Once you make them up, you can put them in your freezer and then throw them in a Ziploc bag, and they were perfect. Cooking them from froze, they just take a little longer. Let's get these on our Traeger at 400 degrees, and we're gonna check them after about 20 minutes and kind of gauge them and see how much further we need to go. Let's get over to the grill. You can see that we're over at our Ironwood XL. We've got it running at 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and slide these on this top rack right here. Kind of put them on. Now I'm gonna get the grill lid shut. And I'm, today I'm cooking with Royal Oak charcoal pellets. And you can see 100% charcoal pellets. These work great, give it that authentic smoke flavor, what we're looking for. So, get our grill lid shut, like I said, come back in 20 minutes, check our cream cheese sauce. All right, our smoked sausage balls are done. They had a total cook time of about 35 minutes in here. Now, the only thing that I didn't do that I should have, you can see those are cooked perfectly on the bottom. Be sure to drain the juice off of your Rotel before you mix it in. I did not say that in my current when I was mixing everything up, so be sure to drain the juice off of it before you dump it in there to make everything up. All right, just to recap, our sausage balls cooked for about 35 minutes. We took a block of cream cheese, two cups of Bishquick, two cups of Mexican style cheese. We used one can of fire roasted Rotel. You can see how these turned out a little flat after we scooped them in the balls. That's because we used the liquid in the Rotel. If you drain that off, they will, will stay a little more in round shape. But it doesn't matter to me because, I mean, they're just as delicious. After you get everything mixed together with your sausage, all you do is form it in little balls, throw it on your pellet grill or in your oven, and cook it to your doneness. A lot of people like them crispy on the bottom like I do, but you do it like how you like to do it. I can tell you one thing, these things are delicious, bringing a little heat. Mm -mm -mm. This is a great party food for any football game or sports event or anything you're having at your house. It's real simple and easy. You can throw together and take to your friends if you don't have to put a lot of creativity in. It's still gonna bring a lot of flavor. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. We put out a new video every week. Remember, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and YouTube. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.